Retail sales rose this percent in August, intensifying expectations that personal spending in this quarter more than doubled. All right, if you're expecting something in the future, you cannot use past tense, so A is no good. Intensi intensifying expectations that personal spending in this quarter would more than double, that's what we want. So B is probably the answer. In C, D, and E, intensifying expectations of personal spending. That's a little bit awkward in this phrasing. And since we already have something that's really good, we'll stick to B as the final answer. Now, what's going on here in terms of concepts? Well, you have the word expectations, right? So we have expectations, and then we also have intensifying expectations. So we, we know there's something that's intensifying, and you're expecting something in the future. Now, if it's hypothetical in the, in the future, you have to use would, right? Because you don't know if or if it happens or not. And this is the conditional future. And that's the only one that, that works in this case. You cannot say intensifying expectations that something doubled. That doesn't make sense because you're mixing tenses here. So you know retail sales rose, um, but this action has uh, you know was intensifying expectations that something would happen and so that's something that something would more than double and that's why b is correct so as a recap we saw a comma here and intensifying expectations this is not a descriptive phrase this is actually an ing verb it's used as an action so this this um you know this result or this data point um, was intensifying expectations and what kind of expectations the kind that you know well it's an expectation that something would happen right so this phrasing the expectation that something would happen you cannot say the expectation that something happened it has to be would happen so that's why Answer choice B is correct.